Good afternoon to all of you all. In this video, we wish to see the relation between the amplitudes of incident, reflected and transmitted waves in a string. Supposing there is a pulse moving in a string. Let us say there is a pulse moving in a, a string. This pulse will continuously move ahead if the medium that is the string is homogeneous. By homogeneous we mean the elastic properties and the inertia properties must be the same throughout. But when this is moving, if it encounters another medium, let us say I draw a thicker string here. When this pulse reaches this junction, it will be reflected and it will be partly reflected and partly transmitted. Yes. Now, uh, if this we call this as string 1, the speed here would be say some V1. When it gets transmitted, the speed here will not be the same. The speed here would be different. V2. We know that the uh, speed of a wave in a stretched string is given by root of t by mu, where t is the tension in the string and mu is the mass per unit length of the string. It is the mass per unit length of the string. Now, for, a, for two strings like this, the tension would be the same. So, uh, here if you take the thicker uh, uh, string, mu2 is greater than mu1. Yes, because it is thicker. The mass per unit length will be more for the thicker string. So, t is the same. So, the velocity v2 in the second string would be less than the velocity in the first string. Yes. So, whenever the velocity of a wave is less, we say that it is a denser medium. So, this would be a denser medium and one would be a rarer medium. Yes. And the speeds are different in the rarer medium and in the denser medium. V2 would be less than V1. So, let us see the reflected wave. An interesting thing happens the reflected wave gets inverted. The reflected wave gets inverted and gets back with the same velocity v1 because the medium is the same, the velocity will be the same v1 v1. This inversion takes place only if the incident pulse or wave is in a rarer medium and it encounters a junction of a denser medium a boundary of a denser medium. This reversal, this inversion we say is a phase change of pi. We say this is a phase change of pi. Any inversion like this is called as the phase change of pi. Let us try to understand this mathematically what this means. Supposing you have sine theta versus theta. Supposing you have plot sine theta versus theta for a single cycle. Let us try to plot sine of pi plus theta. Sine of pi or theta plus phi. Yes, whichever way. Sine of theta. That is sine is undergoing a phase change of pi. Sine of theta plus phi. This will be minus sine theta. So the graph would be like this. Yes, it's going to be reversed like this. So Anything get, that gets inverted like this, we say there is a phase change of pi. The uh, interesting thing to note is that if the incident wave or pulse were in a denser medium and it encounters a rarer medium, then the reflected wave does not suffer 
an inversion. There is no phase reversal of pi. This is V2. This is V1. Or I call this as, this was V2. The thicker one was V2. So this is V2, V2. This is V, V1. You find that the reflected pulse it does not get inverted because the incident uh, pulse is in a denser medium and it is getting reflected at the boundary of a rarer medium. Yes. Another thing. So we shall uh, now try to see how the amplitudes of the incident reflected and transmitted waves are related for a harmonic wave. Yes. Here we showed a pulse. Let us now take a harmonic wave. You take a So let the incident wave be the displacement of the incident wave, harmonic wave be ai, be yi is equal to ai, sine of omega t minus k1 x plus delta. Yes, this is on the and this is a this is the incident. Incident uh, wave moving with a velocity v1, yes, and uh, let us say this is a junction, so it moves here with a velocity v2. There is a reflection here which takes place, which moves with a velocity v1. So, how do we? Uh, write the equation for the wave equation for the reflected wave y r would be equal to a r now we must note that the direction of the reflected wave has changed so instead of omega t minus k1 x it will be plus k1 x so a r would be sine of omega t plus k1 x you know the negative wherever the wave travels in the negative x direction it is omega t plus k x1 plus delta and there is a phase reversal of pi what about for the transmitted y transmitted would be a transmitted into sine of omega t this direction is in the positive x direction this will be minus k2 x here we have taken k1 and k1, this is not kx1, this is k1x, omega t k1x, here it would be k2x, we will explain this, k2x plus delta, that would be the transmitted wave. Now, you must know that uh, lambda into the frequency gives the uh, velocity v of the wave. Okay, lambda the wavelength, mu is the frequency, v is the speed of the wave. And we know k is 2 pi by lambda and omega is 2 pi nu. Now what we must note is that the frequency does not change when the medium changes. That is nu is the same or omega is the same. That is why we have used the same omega here, here and here. But since the nu is same, but since the speed is changing, lambda will change. If the speed is more, the lambda will be more. If the speed is less, lambda will be less. So k which is 2 pi by lambda will be different. That is why we have used k1 and k1 for the rarer medium and uh, k2 for the denser medium. Now, our object is to find the relation between a1, ar and at. 
Now at the boundary, at the junction, there is continuity. Because there is continuity, we can use the superposition principle and say that the displacement to the left of the junction and the displacement to the right of the junction must be the same at all instants. That is, we are saying yi, which is the displacement due to the incident uh, wave, plus yr, which is the displacement due to the reflected wave, that is the total net displacement to the left of the junction, that was equal to the displacement y of the transmitted wave. Okay. So, we will substitute these here. We will do one simplification. That junction we will take it as the origin. So, that x becomes 0. We will put x as 0. So, if you did that, you will have yi as ai sine of omega t plus delta will be plus ar sine of omega t plus delta plus pi that will be equal to at sine of omega t plus delta yes so this is going to be minus ar sine of omega t plus delta so now you find that sine of omega t plus delta cancels throughout and we have ai minus ar equal to at yes we can rewrite this we will we can rewrite this one. we bring at and ar on one side so at plus ar will be equal to ai this is one equation we need another equation. The other equation is the equation relating to energy conservation. The incident energy will get distributed as reflected energy and transmitted energy. Yes. So I can say EI is ER plus ET. If I divide it by the time I can say the powers, the incident power should be equal to the reflected power plus the transmitted power. We know the expression for the power of a wave. The power of a wave in a string is given by half mu omega squared a squared into v. Let us eliminate this mu. We know v is root of t by mu. So we can write the power as half mu. Uh, instead of mu, we will write it as t by v squared. From this, you get you square both sides. You get mu equal to t by v squared into omega squared a squared into v. So one v will cancel. Now we know the frequency is the same, so the angular frequency is the same and the tension is the same in both the strings. Therefore you can say the power is directly proportional to a squared by v. So the rest are all constants. So for pi we can write it as ai squared by v1 for the incident energy. For PR, we can write it as AR squared by V1 again because it is in the same medium plus AT squared by V2. Yeah. AT squared by V2. Okay. Now we will uh, simplify this. AI minus AR equal to AT. So, to simplify this, we will bring this AR squared to the left hand side. 
तो यू आर ए वन स्क्वेड माइनस ए आर स्क्वेड बाय बी वन इज इक्वल टू ए टू स्क्वेड बाय बी टू नाउ ए आई स्क्वेड माइनस ए आर स्क्वेड कैन बी रिटर्न एज ए आई प्लस ए आर इनटू ए आई माइनस ए आर बाय बी वन now we know ai minus ar is 80 so instead of this ai minus ar we can put 80 180 will cancel here 180 will cancel there so this goes and therefore uh, you can get another equation now i can say v1 by v2 v1 by v2 into 80 minus ar is equal to ai this is the Second equation. Yes, v one by v two is eighty minus a r equal to a one. So let's solve these two equations. You will get the value. So what we can do is we can add both these equations. You add both these equations. A r minus a r and plus a r will cancel. You will get v one by v two eighty. Plus a t v one v one by v two a t plus a t a r a r cancels and you get two a one equal to two a one or you will have a t equals when simplify this v two is the LCM you will get two v two by v one plus v two Into AI. That is the amplitude of the transmitted wave. The amplitude of the reflected wave we can find out from this. AR we know is AI minus AT. AI minus AT. So that will be AI minus. Let's substitute for AT. This is two V two by V one plus V two into AI. So AI is again common here. You will have V one minus V two by V one plus V two. Yes, that will be AI. As you can see, V one is greater than V two, so this quantity is a positive quantity. So AR is in the direction that we chose, that is downward, inverted. Yes. Yeah. Now uh, you can easily see if there is no change in the medium, that is, if V two is equal to V one, see what happens. If V two is equal to V one, that is, it is the same medium, continuous medium. There is no change in the medium. If V one is equal to V two, A R will be zero. That is, there is no reflected wave. And what happens to A T? If you put V two as V one. You will get two v one year and two v one year. A t will be equal to a one. That is, the wave will travel ahead as a traveling wave without any reflection. Okay. Supposing the wave, the incident wave, were in a denser medium, and it gets reflected at the boundary of a rarer medium, then our a r would be Minus A R will put it and change the sign. You will have A R will be equal to A I into V two minus V one by V one plus V two. Where now V two is the second medium. This is two now and this is one. So A R will be A I into V two minus the second velocity of the second medium minus the velocity of the first medium. Okay. Again, here V two will be greater than V one, so A R is positive, or that is it doesn't get inverted. Okay. So these two are the formula. This formula is assuming that the second medium is denser. This formula is assuming that the second medium is rarer. Okay. Thank you.